In this quick video, I want to help you to get your mouse trackpad working again on your Dell. We're going to start with the most easiest, obvious solutions and work our way up. But I can almost guarantee you that I'm going to get your mouse working on your laptop, on your Dell laptop. So, on this particular model that I have here, this is a Dell Latitude. And so I keep pushing these and, and tapping here and I can't get it to work. So the most obvious, if you haven't done this already, restart your computer. If you have to power it, force it down, just hold down the power button. Just hold down the power button and force it down. Unplug it, plug it back in, turn it back on, and then see if your mouse pad will work. That's the most obvious one, right? So another thing that you may have done is you may have accidentally deactivated the mouse uh, with using the keys. And so what I want you to do, and they're pretty common commands, so what I want you to do is I want you to hold down the function button, which is the blue FN here. It may The design may be a little bit different on your Dell. It may not be blue, but there's an FN button here. It's the function button. I want you to hold it down and look for the little icon next to the to the function buttons up here, you know, F9, F10, all those. And there should be one that looks like a little key, like a little mouse pad. It's like a like a box with two buttons on the top. Look for that. And while if you see one, and usually it's a lot of times on the F5, sometimes it's on the F9s, but hold down the function and then hit that button. So for example, on my keyboard, I'll hold down the function and then I'll hit F5. And some may be F9. You might have to play around. Let me know if that fixed your problem. And then, of course, again, I showed you F9. On some trackpads, on the newer models, it'll have like an invisible button here to the upper left of the mouse. Right here. Sometimes it'll have like a little icon there. Just tap it and see if that will fix your mouse. So that's the next solution. Now, if that doesn't work, what I want you to do is I realize that you don't have access to your mouse, but you can use the tab button, the TAB button on the upper left of your keyboard to try to navigate down to different areas. So on the very bottom left, while you have the Dell on and you're in Windows, go down here to the search and see if you can type in touchpad. If you can type in touchpad, then it should bring up mouse settings. Click on mouse settings and then make sure that it's clicked on to where it says touchpad is on. If it, if it isn't, click it on and then restart your computer and then tell me if your mouse works. Now next, what I want you to do is to do a run command. And I'm sure you've done a run command before, but if you have it on your keyboard, type in, t hold down the Microsoft key right here and hit R. Hold it down while hitting R and that's going to take you to run. And what I want you to do under run, I want you to type control, C-O-N-T-R-O-L. That's going to take you to your control panel. So next, when it takes you to your control panel, I want you to use the tab button and just tab over to where it says hardware and sounds, and then hit enter on your keyboard. And then you're going to click mouse properties. You're going to click mouse properties, and then you're going to click additional mouse options. And then on additional mouse options, I want you to see if the touchpad is enabled. If not, click enabled. And like I said, you might have to use the tab button and the up and down arrow on your keyboard to represent what your mouse would be doing. Okay. Now, if that doesn't work, I want you to go back into run by holding down the Microsoft key and the R. And, I want you, and you're going to device manager. So this is the command for device manager. D's and David, E, V, M, G, M, T dot msc so you're going to device manager where it shows all your drivers i want you to go uh, ho, uh i want you to tab down so you have to tab 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 down to where it goes to mice and other pointing devices and then what i want you to do um, under under your mouse if you could see the driver for your exact mouse hovered over where it says the pointing it'll say pointing mouse I want you to hover over it and I want you to 
hold down the shift key and hit F10. That represents the right click button on your mouse. But of course you have to use your keyboard. So you hold down the shift plus F10 over the mouse that you're trying to activate on your keyboard. And then you use your arrow keys and then you go hover over update driver and hit enter. Now you have to be connected to the internet. I hope you're connected to either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And that may take a few minutes and see if that'll update your driver. Sometimes it'll have like a yellow little logo next to the mouse and basically means it's enabled. So again, to enable it, you're right clicking by hitting Shift F10 and click Enable and that will enable the mouse. Okay, so if you tried that, next what I want you to do is go into BIOS and that's going to test and see if your hardware is broken or not. Your actual physical mouse may be broken. So you're going to shut down all the way. If you have to force it down, that's fine. Re turn it on and then I want you to tap the F2 key and you remember where the F2 key is. It's on the very top of your keyboard. Just go F F2, F2, F2. Tap, 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 tap while it's powering on to the Dell logo. And then see on your trackpad to see if your mouse is working. If it is working, then you know it's not a hardware issue that your actual physical mouse is actually broken. Which this hardware could actually be broken. I doubt it, but it could be. And if it's not, if your mouse is not working in BIOS, where you see that blue and black screen, if it's not working, then you know it's not uh, a software issue, it's a hardware issue. And we'll, go, we'll get to that in a second. But if it is working, then you know it's something with Windows, which that's actually a good thing. So what you're going to do you're going to look for touchpad settings. Your computer BIOS or UEFI control many settings independent of the operating system. You'll need to enter your PC's BIOS like I told you to do by pressing F2, delete, or similar key. Now on, in your BIOS look for an entry called the internal pointing device. Touchpad, trackpad, or similar. This may be under, under the advanced settings so you have to navigate in BIOS to the advanced set headings. Make sure it's not disabled. If it is, turn it back on and Windows should be able to recognize it. You may need to walk through some of the above steps after re-enabling your touchpad into BIOS. So go ahead and see if that works. Next, if that doesn't work, here's an obvious solution that you may have not have thought of. Purchase and you may have one around right now, purchase an optical mouse. Just go out and purchase one, or you may have one laying around that's connected to an old desktop, and it doesn't matter. It could be a wireless, where you just hook it up into the USB, or it could maybe may wireless, where you just hook it up to the USB. And I can't tell you how many laptops I've used this way, and I don't even think about it. I just carry my mouse everywhere with me, and I use it, and it works great. And, it, and usually you don't have to install a driver. Usually once you hook that up into a USB port, it will automatically recognize it. And then all of a sudden you got your mouse working all over again. And you're so relieved. You're like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. Now, like I said earlier, if your hardware is broken, yes, you can still fix it. And I'm okay with computers, so I know how to go actually physically go in there and repair it. Um... What you'd have to do is go on YouTube and look for dis, uh, how to uh, disassemble it. There's screws here on the bottom, and what will happen is, is this on most lap, Dell laptops, the trackpad will come off, and you could just look for the model number under your trackpad, and they're usually cheap, like ten to five bucks, and then just rescrew it back on and see if you can get a, a brand new trackpad. Like I said, if your computer is older, you just might as well just get an optical mouse and fix the problem that way. All right. I appreciate you watching. Put in the comment section what you did to get your mouse to work. Um, and tell me if none of these solutions didn't work for you. I can't imagine why they wouldn't. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. And thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.